Hi Cancer, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-November general reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Cancer, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Cancer, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships with right now. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Cancer, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to find out to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, let's get right into this. Cancer, again, this is your mid-November general reading. My voice feels really shaky all of a sudden, like someone's nervous to say something. We've got three more here. Um, we're gonna do a Celtic cross, okay? And y'all know the drill, this is a general reading. So if the messages are not applying, just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right, my loves, let's see what's going on. All right, we have the five of pentacles cancer at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with a earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have the queen of wands behind the deck though. This feels very temporary. Like some of you are just dealing with some, um, five of pentacles could be some worries around finances, jobs, that kind of thing. Um, getting all the bills paid, that kind of vibe, sure. But this is more an energy, um, if you look, there's a key behind her. And it feels like there's just one little missing piece in your life. You feel like there's something in your life that just doesn't feel quite complete and whole. But they wanted me to look behind the deck and there's the Queen of Wands there. And she showed up in your pre-shuffle, so I feel like that's you really amping up to take some bold action. Queen of Wands is very intuitive, just like you, Cancer. So I feel like you're you're coming up with a solution, with an answer. I'm hearing solution oriented, right? I feel like you're you're understanding to get in the solution of whatever's going on instead of staying in the problem. Very good. What's the current energy for Cancer? I love this. Boom. Yeah, you're you're fine. I feel like. Uh, for most of you, that wasn't really like about finances. I just feel like you, you feel a little bit absent. You feel a little bit, I'm hearing bare or without something, okay? Or someone maybe, okay? Yeah, because we have the Ten of Pentacles. You really do have it going on in your current situation. Very abundant. You're very secure. Healthy day-to-day -day routine. Um, that's really good. Health, wealth, material, abundance. Feels really good. And even if, even if not so, the Queen of Pentacles male or female, the feminine energy, she's very resourceful. And I feel like that's like a part of this message too, is there's like, there's a little, that key, there's a resource that you have. It's, we're going to figure it out. It's coming through. Okay. What's crossing this for cancer? And, and like your eyes are closed. You're like, I'm not worried about it. Maybe a little internally you are, but you're not showing it on the exterior. Okay. What's crossing cancer? Mm. <clears throat> Hangman. Okay, so water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a change of perspective, okay? Looking at things um, in a different light, okay? Empress. Oh, is the key the fact that you need to receive and not, and not give anymore? Probably. Oh, okay. That's not too bad, right? So yeah, what I'm trying to say is for some of you, there's something that seems to be like, oh, that one little thing could be better in my life, whatever. I feel like what that is is there's a message that key that we're trying to get to might not be for you to do anything. It might be a key for someone else to do, to open your door. What's your focus? Don't tell me that. Eight of swords, okay? So your, your focus is to like not be so obsessively thinking about this, of what is next, whether it's the next job, the next um, move, the next shift, the next person, the next friend, the next whatever, moon card. This is you and your emotions, okay? Um, I feel like you are wondering like what is next and it's kind of, how do you crawling out of your skin just a little bit? We are in Scorpio season, uh, fellow water energy, recent past here for cancer. Okay. 
So the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So in some type of um, unit around you, your tribe, the people you're closest to and your in your family and your home, maybe someone you work with, there's that Pentacles energy again. You or someone around you is you're still learning how to build this Three of Pentacles, okay? Um, Queen of Wands, see there she is. There she is, he or she. I feel like this is either you or someone that you're collaborating with, whatever you're trying to build. With this Page of Pentacles, it usually is an offer, but in this deck, it's more about the learning process. I feel like you're willing or have been willing, Cancer, to be the student in a situation instead of the teacher. I feel like you're allowing or have allowed in the past. That's what I'm picking up. Like You're like, okay, show me what you know. Show me what you got in regards to some type of Three of Pentacles, building a family, building a team, building a group, something like that. That's what I'm picking up. And that could be someone else, but I feel like the, you are kind of standing more in the page of pentacles, kind of looking, even almost observing even another situation. Like, how do they do it? Not that you're copying, but you're trying to learn how someone else, another group, another situation, how they're becoming successful in whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. And it's not a copycat energy, but you're, because eight of swords, you're like, well, I got, whatever I've been doing maybe hasn't been you know, because the focus is the eight of swords. It's like maybe recognizing, well, I've tried it this way and that way and that way and that way. And then I tried all those again. And that, see that, that cycle seems to not really be working. So what I'm saying in the past, you're kind of open to learning a new perspective, which is why you have the hangman crossing it. This is perfect. This makes complete sense to me. I hope I'm making sense to y'all. Uh, what's crowning cancer? The energy here at two of swords you need to make a decision cancer uh hierophant you know that whatever this is about you know you're already your faith is already with the hierophant taurus energy you're already in this higher level of commitment you are just two of swords and your crowning energy you just want to make sure who you're dealing with is also of higher level of high vibration has the same belief systems as you in regards to whatever your situation is What's in the near future for cancer? Oh. Bring me a higher love. Whoa. Sorry, I can't sing um, like that, but I mean, that's what I heard here. So in the near future, cancer. Oh, this is amazing. Y'all have the six of swords mm -hmm, coming out of conflict, coming out of this overthinking. What's going to happen? This is moving on from that. Boom, Ace of Cups, new love, renewed love, self-love, someone in love, <laughs> justice energy. This is what's, this is karma. This is what's meant for you. Um, Libra energy for a lot of you and the Ten of Pentacles with this. Uh, and the Knight of Cups, I'm sorry, and the Sun. I, <laughs> what? Uh, what? Also with this future energy, I have to show it to you. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Sun card. <laughs> Cancer, that is very hot. That is very um abundant energy very lovey-dovey i feel like you are getting something that you deserve a new uh fresh something a fresh chance a fresh opportunity that's going to lead to this ten of pentacles it's going to be your fulfillment something that you've been wanting to complete the ten of pentacles is the completion of the five of pentacles that we talked about at the beginning of this reading <laughs> it's all literally coming together Two of swords in your mind, like you can't really see it. You can't really see it. You do have the blindfold on here. Oh my gosh. You're getting what you deserve. And I mean that in a good way. It's tied to the ace of, ace of cups with the six of swords. That's improvement. That's moving from a situation that's been up and down, very emotional, inconsistent to, okay, we're getting on the right path here. We're going towards smoother sailing waters. And what's your smoother sailing waters? The ace of cups. I can't, that's beautiful. It's you, again, always being in love with yourself, in love with life, and because, it's like that energy too, and like, you're getting, you're getting something that resonates with that. Someone, Ten of Pentacles, it's, <clears throat> it's everything. Ooh, that kind of blew me away for a second. Okay. What's Cancer's power here? The Ten of Cups, oh my God, and the Knight of Wands. 
Uh, yeah, it's just to, like go with it, go with the flow. Like your power is to just ten of cups, to live in the moment, to open your heart. Ace of cups, and that could be what this learning lesson we we hear uh, that we've learned here in the recent past. Cancer is there maybe was something to learn about building with someone trust. Okay, eight of swords can also be some. You know, can I trust this? Trust them. Someone makes something very clear, very obvious. Also with the justice card on this, this could be um, in the Six of Swords, a move, a transition. So where you and a family are coming together, you and someone are in full union now, okay? So a mortgage, a certificate, a, you know, legal stuff with the justice card too. But more so in this energy, regardless of that, this is karma. This is like all your hard work paying off. What's hidden from cancer? <sighs> the Queen of Cups, uh, maybe another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, regardless of the reading, she's my relationship card, okay? Um, and there's your Queen of Wands again. Interesting. So some of you have um, some fire coming in or that's you really like... You know, like feeling that fire energy, feeling that mojo, feeling like you want to get up and do something about this. Like it really gets you passionate, excited, that kind of thing here. Queen of Cups, this is this is love. This is like big love, like opening your heart, maybe someone else expressing how they feel um, in a very healthy, nurturing type of way. Um, I wanted to get one more on that and we got the Four of Cups. So this person could be someone that um like when you walk in their life you're gonna be like oh okay this is what i've been waiting for um like i don't think for them they even see this coming either what are your hopes and fears the tower oh my god and the knight of cups oh wow yeah this is definitely hoping for the best that this all comes together in a very loving emotional intimate connected way uh hierophant's trying to make itself known so i do feel like this is a higher level commitment with somebody anything else on the tower we have the nine of cups so that's a wish fulfillment we're gonna break this down in just a second let's get the outcome here this is really intense like with your hopes and fears with the tower, you hope that everything changes. You're like, yeah, I hope that everything about the situation changes, right? Because we started with the five of pentacles of like, this isn't working. This is not where I belong or this doesn't feel right. I don't fit here or I feel like I'm not, I don't belong. Like something feels lacking. Well, with the tower, you're hoping, I hope it all changes, right? <laughs> yeah. And your power with the 10 of cups is just to being being your best be the best you be the best most loving giving person that you can be easy breezy for a cancer nailed it <laughs> um okay outcome we have the knight of wands yeah okay there's that fire energy coming in again again it could be a uh, fire sign aries leo sagittarius male or female we have the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck that is amazing that is some higher level understanding of yourself of the situation seeing things from a higher perspective which is maybe where you're hung up right now because you do have the hangman crossing you what else can i see How, what other perspective can you look at in this situation which is um a really great place to be in right now because it looks like things are about to really get going for you so for a lot of you if you felt if you have felt like there hasn't been a lot of action. There hasn't been a lot of like mm, excitement in your life or like where's your passion? Where's that creativity? Where's that inspiration? Those are all wands energy. Um, I feel like you've been asking yourself that question. Like, why don't I feel as passionate about these things? Um, well, it's coming for sure. I feel like there is either something great that comes to you, whether it's a person, um, some kind of good news that comes in. It's definitely going to get you out of this, you know, I'm looking at the six of swords. It's going to get you out of that five of swords type of energy. Okay. Um, Ace of swords, bottom of the deck. We have the king of pentacles and the lovers. Wow. Um, Gemini and earth energy there, here. So this is a new opportunity coming in. That's going to be king of pentacles, potentially a career that's going to be very abundant for you. Last for a long time, a person um, that's going to be around in your life and make a positive influence um, for you king of pentacles that's very much like more mature like let me teach you stuff and I feel like 
that could be this king of pentacles could have a big tie to this this uh past energy of like yeah show me your ways show me how you've done this because i'm kind of um and that sounds like you know some counseling and therapy that kind of thing too but also i feel like you're willing to learn from even a group of people around you so i love this reading let's break it down and see what else is going on there is again in your crown in your crowning energy cancer you do have the two of swords which is um you know there's two different kind of situations tugging at you pulling at you I feel like you just want to surrender to this and you have and you're surrendering to spirit but there's there's something about the blindfold and I feel like it might for some of you be legit something that you can't see but it might be something that you've maybe been avoiding um for a while something that you've chosen to uh not see so we have the queen of wands again at the bottom of the deck I've already pre-shuffled this um with the ace of wands this is some mad new beginnings with some fire energy big time All right, let's look at this Queen of Pentacles in your current situation. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, lots of teal, lots of like blue green energy for you, which is like very watery energy. Um, lots of gold and um, orange are coming in for you. And then red is like your future, the color that's coming in. Colors are, are, are significant for you, for, some, for somebody. Um, blue green now orange also coming and then red is also coming i don't know someone needed to hear that queen of pentacles why is this for cancer ooh, ooh. uh the ten of cups which is also your power card mm -hmm. yeah this is about to be amazing two of wands i really feel like for a lot of you it's like very night and day like you're moving on like you know how to fill your own cup you know how to um be happy in your own life, in your own skin, like regardless of what's going on outside of you, you've learned a lot of valuable lessons that are going to take you very far with the happiness and peace for the rest of your life. The lessons that you're learning right now are going to help you continue to have love and peace in your life from here on out. Now, what kind of a blessing is that? The best kind of blessing. Like whatever you're learning about yourself and fixing within yourself and your situation internally, it is now showing up on your uh, externally on the outside. Ugh. We have the five of cups. This is still letting go of the past because something new is around the corner. Yeah, something stable. We have the six of pentacles. Um, and we have the lover's card. I'm telling you, Cancer, this is divinely guided. You are literally just like, I don't care what it is. It's just, it's got to be of higher level. It's got to be, it's got to resonate with me spiritually. Like you've given it all to God, to source, your angels, the light. You know what I mean? And you're just like, yeah, y'all hook it up. And they are big time. This is them hooking it up big time. <laughs> um, Six of Pentacles talks about a real, healthy balanced connection what you put in is what you get back and that is what you have not been getting for quite some time in some kind of situation and you know it's coming your only homework here is the five is the five of cups is continue to release um some old i'm hearing like family values that kind of thing that don't resonate with you any longer okay because in the Five of Cups, as soon as you grieve and turn around and let all that go, what's right behind you in the, two, in the Five of Cups? Two cups, yours and someone else's. And that represents the Six of Pentacles, healthy, balanced connection with whoever that's meant for you. I mean, you can't make this shit up. This is amazing. <laughs> the stable job, getting paid what you've always deserved. This is about what you deserve because justice is here the person that's going to be the right partner for you, like whatever this is. Why is the hangman crossing cancer? Thank you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I see the world card. That's big. That's huge. You're closing a lot. And the, and the page of pentacles again, you're closing so many old chapters in your life that aren't serving you. And we've talked about this for a long time, but with two page of pentacles here, you are now or have been or are now going into the student 
of really taking all these that inner child work that shadow work whatever you've been up to it's now for real incorporating it into your everyday experience go you go you a thousand percent yeah you have the world card seven of wands this is so beautiful like you you have not given up on your belief systems on what it is that you truly know you deserve so seven of wands world card page of pentacles three of pentacles it's like two of the cards that we're going to clarify in a second are right here so again um and you know and it's a little bit of that stubborn energy of like it's okay that you don't know everything or you don't know how to you know function in some type of situation like i get that like big time and you're just like you know what maybe i don't know it all and i do need to like learn or relearn this thing and that is like you surrendering to the universe and there's a person involved here, but you, the fact that you've done that, the universe is giving you a round of applause. Like, you know what, Cancer? They're really, Cancer's really doing some big stuff here. Don't forget behind your Ace of Swords, you have the King of Pentacles. You might be a page right now and still learning, but you're about to ace it also. You're about to be learn whatever the skill or whatever you're learning for yourself. Again, it's just gonna, it's gonna help you for the rest of your life. Woo! So good. What's this Eight of Swords for Cancer? <laughs> my nose itching. Y'all's angels and guides. <laughs> they always get me in my nose. What's this Eight of Swords for Cancer, please? Thank you. <sighs> yeah, yep. Yeah, there's a Divine Masculine here. Mm -hmm. So Queen of Swords, we have the Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles is what your focus is. And the Eight of Swords with the Five of Swords. So there's, there's some kind of conflict resolution, a conversation. Um, where it's like, you know, you have to be in the emperor energy of it and kind of like, Hey, I have this plan. This is what I'm doing now. Ace of pentacles. That's your gift. You are the ace of pentacles. And if people don't want to, yeah, there's a little bit of heaviness in my chest. As I say that for some of you with this queen of swords, you need to speak up and get that off of your chest. Whatever it is that you want, you desire, as a matter of who you're speaking to, you need to be, you need to be able to speak that comfortably. And you're not. That's the issue. It's all clogged right here. I feel it. Mm. It's five of swords. This has been a lot of conflict that's been holding you back. Okay. Um, it could be also in regards to a divine masculine with the ace of pentacles, emperor ace of pentacles, or, and or a job, a boss situation. This is a general reading. Please take it how it applies. But whatever it is, whoever you've not been standing up to, like I bet you now what you've learned in the recent past is a bunch of swords that are going to come out. How to speak up when you're, you feel like your voice has been taken from you. You're not the pushover anymore, Cancer. No, you're not. You found your voice. For a lot of you, this is what this is about. Throat chakra energy, speaking in a very logical, but also still Cancerian, sensitive and nurturing way, and how to find balance in both of those things. And for a lot of you, taking that page of pentacles, that thing that you've learned now, and how am I going to incorporate that in with my partnerships, with my friendships, with my, uh, you know, work colleagues, future people I meet? That is what we are talking about. Boom. Love it. Hell yes. This is like a lot of, I mean, look at you. This is like, you're like, I know what I need to say. I know what I need to say. <laughs> and just say it. Okay. Okay, let's look at this. This has like really been interesting. Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles in your recent past. Oh my God. Oh my God. You've literally been standing up to devil energy. Hierophant is you, Taurus energy or Capricorn or some heavy earth energies. These literally all saw it flew out together. Intensity, holy shit. You've literally, it's like you've, you've been under this, like, I don't feel good in this job, this relationship, whatever. You know why? It's because this is you. You're of higher level. You believe in the higher level stuff, commitment, like tr more traditional type things. Wow. It's like Hierophant versus devil right now. And that, and you're just like, what did I learn from that situation? Five of swords. Again, lots of conflict. Let's get one more so intense i need water let's all drink water i 
and look at this. Look at, there's a power here taking over two, and there's a power here influencing two, okay? So it's like power or influence. That's what's coming up here. Are you gonna use your power or are you gonna use your influence? That's also you. That's also you versus something. This is also two versions of you as well. That was in crazy intense, but in like a good way. But now we see it. We see it now, right? This is what you did. This is what you did. Hermit energy, Virgo energy. You were like, and I'm out. I love how all the three earth signs are there. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you have been dealing with some heavy earth signs too. Um, four of cups. Maybe for some of you specifically, like, yeah, none of these are working for me. I don't want to be with any of those people or any of those situations specifically. You're like, no, I'm good on my own. There's something better coming for me. But also for some of you, this is about, you're like, you know what? Telling this person, this group of people, like, hey, I've learned so much from this experience. Thank you, but bye. Because whatever it is that you're doing over here, like that is of fear energy, dark energy, devil energy, and you are a paraffin energy. Higher level, the teacher, the guru. You, you were like, sure, show me what you got. I'll be the student. Let me sit back. You didn't like what you saw. Devil showed up. Yep, yep, yep. You went into hermit mode. But I'm going to pull back because what's in the light, what's in the, um, the lantern here is you, the star and the, or the sun and or the sun, either way. Your light, your soul. You're like, no, this doesn't feel right. I'll go back in the dark. That's fine. But like my beautiful light, like you can't touch that. Mm-hmm. Now we understand this two of swords. You're like, shit, I saw what I saw now. What's this two of swords crowning cancer? Two of, two of pentacles, nine of swords. Still juggling the situation, even though you know it's like, mm, that's a lower energy for me. I feel like compassion, you're like, well, because you're not very judgmental. I mean, in your lighter, lighter energy. And um, there's a flipper here. I can't find it. Here it is. But I feel like you, yeah, nine of cups. See, you're like, you're choosing yourself. You're like, you know what? I'm actually like super solid on my own. <laughs> um, yeah, eight of swords. You, you really are thinking about the situation a lot. Why is this two of swords here for cancer? Three of wands. Yeah, waiting for something better. You've started on this great new path for yourself and I feel like you've run into some tests, yeah? Um, that's definitely some test energy that what you've been through, okay? High Priestess, you are the High Priestess Cancer. Look at all that crescent moon energy, water energy, that's you, okay? You're very intuitive, you trust your intuition. It even told you from the get-go in this situation, uh, something doesn't feel right, uh, but something in your soul said, I need to be here to learn a lesson. So no matter which, what happened or whatever, it wasn't the wrong thing for you because what did you gain? You may have not gained the person or the job or like whatever physically, but you learned a lesson. And again, that's the most valuable thing that you can take on moving forward for the rest of your life. Big life lessons right now. Okay. Now let's get into the good stuff. Uh, let's clarify this all together. Six of swords, ace of cups, justice, future energy for cancer. Beautiful. Eight of Swords, my goodness. Eight of Swords again, we have the Six of Swords and then we have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Um, this is coming in Divine Timing. We have the Three of Swords, it's about healing your heart. The, the, on the Ace of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is you receiving this new love, okay? And what's Justice card? The Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, mm -hmm. yeah, this is a person and a Six of Cups. It could be someone wanting to uh, come back from the past for a group of you with a Six of Cups um, or someone wanting to have children with you in the future. But Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups on your Justice card is, for most of you, a person coming through. Very stable, very abundant for the long haul. That bestie for the long haul, that partnership for the long haul, that something. It's going to be very good. 
Um, this is also, if, especially if it's a new relationship, this is going to be very different for you and you'll be able to continue to heal your broken heart in this new connection. Yes. You can still do healing and you don't have to always do it alone by yourself. Okay. You can still heal and be in a relationship or in a connection or a friendship or whatever. And both of you can go through that together and help each other. Someone really needed to hear that. Um, Ten of Cups for Cancer. Why is this your power? The Eight of Cups. So for some of you, you do need to emotionally leave that other situation behind. You got this. Eight of Cups. And it's going to your Nine of Cups. And then you have your Ten of Cups. <laughs> you're, all, you're right there. You are right there. So close. What, why is the Ten of Cups your power? Hangman. Change your perspective, okay? Ten of Wands, you've been dealing with too much. Put them down. <laughs> you've been putting way too many eggs in someone's basket or in another situation's basket. What's this Ten of Cups for Cancer? Boom, Seven of Pentacles and the Judgment card. Yeah, moving towards stability, moving towards stable ground here. Um, very, very good. Queen of Pentacles again. I was like, what's with this Seven of Pentacles? So for some of you in the Four of Swords, this is Chariot You. Um, again, the dream thing that you've been asking for. Where you'll be able to grow and expand even what you have now. Your family, your career, um, your health, um, investment. I'm hearing that too. Someone's investing. What's hidden from you? What's up with this Queen of Cups hidden from Cancer? Wheel of Fortune. Uh, karmic Energy. And the Four of Wands. So this is wow, 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 wow. That's a twin flame for a lot of you, a soulmate, Nine of Swords. Um, this is, y'all both had to clear some karma before this came in too. We have the Wheel and Justice right next to each other, both karmic energies. What's this Queen of Cups hidden from Cancer? Can we have one more? Ooh, the Strength card, Leo Energy. Ooh, and the sun, heck yes. So this is about endurance. This is about both of you really had to, um, it's about someone else for sure, because I had the four of wands about, uh, this is a marriage card, union, celebration, soulmate, and twin flame for those on the twin flame journey. Um, again, this is karmic with the wheel of fortune coming in the right time when spirit says so. And with again, with the strength card as a number eight, this will be a new chapter, new cycle of queen of cups love um i'm hearing conditioning like conditioning each other so i do feel like you and someone are still in like a really good place but there's still some like when we come together there's a little bit of triggering energy but y'all are both in a relatively healthy enough place to work through those things together um very good very very good why is the tower your hopes and fears Nine of Pentacles, there's your Queen of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles, High Priestess, Queen of Cups. You do hope that you change out of this Five of Pentacles, just like how I said earlier. It's the exact same energy. And you have the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Like You have so much to offer, um, and you know that. So this is about not settling um, for anything less. And that even if you have to stay in your Five of Pentacles, you're like, that's fine. But I know that I'm not alone, right? You have so many resources and people around. What's up with this Queen of Wands, though? Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. It could be, a, again, a strong fire energy that is coming towards you with a very bold offer. I'm looking at the sunflower that could have significance. It's also a very um, card of abundance and of summertime around your, your, your season. All right, outcome. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Cancer? Three of Cups. This is going to be something to celebrate for sure. Um, Ace of Swords. I'm looking at all these pumpkins. This is like definitely... Um, as we go into um, Scorpio into Sag season, it's all, all going to come through. Eclipse, maybe the full moon in Taurus. King of Cups, there he is. There he is. I knew it. I should have said it. Five of Wands. Um, I should have said that. It's going to be a very healthy, uh, emotionally stable connection. Three of Cups, something that you're going to have fun with. 
um, be able to celebrate this connection, this love. What's this Knight of Wands for Cancer? Thank you. The Knight of Cups with it. I told y'all. Told you. Told, 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 told you. Oh, and there's that page again. Okay. That page in the night came out when we were talking about something else. Oh, the Justice card um, of what's coming towards you. So again, this feels very romantic. This feels like someone who, um, whether they're a friend, lover, romance, whatever, it this person, Three of Cups, like they can't wait to be with you, to express how they feel with you. Knight of Cups is proposal energy. Maybe for a small group, sure, proposal in marriage, but this is like a proposal of what we want to do with this connection. How do we want to build? How can we continue to be abundant, okay? How can we work together um, and grow instead of run away from each other? But for a lot of you, this feels very new, very fresh. And I love the Justice card on all of this because this is about something that you deserve because you've been through it cancer give yourself a round of applause this is so so beautiful yeah behind uh i just want to get your clarification deck real quick before we go to the pick a card uh page of cups you have judgment and the five of swords this was about not fighting anymore letting go of um either you or the other person being like you know what i don't i'm hearing that again i don't always have to be right or they don't always have to be right so there's like a little bit of that like don't kill me if there's a Taurus here, but like that Taurus stubborn energy of like, we don't have to always like be, doesn't have to be perfect in sunshine and rainbows like every freaking day. Like there's that energy of like, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know, it's all gonna be okay, it is. You have like one of the best outcomes so far of all the mid-month Novembers. The best, the best, Cancer, the best. All the love and, and it's also with the King of Cups, it's maturity too and it's long lasting. The King of Cups cares about the long haul, about the plan, okay? Um, friends support this, your community supports this with the Three of Cups. This is very, very, very good for you. Oh my gosh, I can't wait um, to see how this all pans out. Like tell me in the comments what's going on. All right, Cancer, let's do your pick a card. And then those of you that want to do the love reading, or reconnect with your other person. That's the first link in the description box below. And the cancer that won the pick a card this time is Desiree Stanford. Desiree Stanford, you are my winner. So cancer, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel and leave your name in the comment section down below. That's it. Next time I might pick you, okay? I love y'all. See you next time. All right, Desiree. saying three more. Desiree, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Desiree? I'm seeing the letter C for you. C or T, if that has significance. C or T. Or both. One more. Desiree Stanford. Thank you. There it is. And I'm hearing for you gold, not silver. I don't know. Okay, six of swords. I'm getting so many more messages these days, like more specific. So I don't know if those really resonate, but um, I just feel like I should say them. Six of swords. So this is you definitely moving forward from a situation. I love this. Okay. Um, we talked about this in the general of a situation where it's just been, in I'm hearing inconsistent. It's just been up and down. It doesn't make you feel, there's, there hasn't been a lot of stability in whatever this is, but you're getting towards the stable part beautiful mm -hmm. you're exhausted you have a ten of wands sun card yeah you're either about to put in something or put something down or you just did and it's gonna be the sun card it's gonna literally like put so much weight is going to be off of your shoulders in this situation. Desiree, Knight of Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, World card. You're you're gonna work really hard to cl to close a cycle to end something either um, now or, or here pretty soon. Feels like a heavy workload. You know what I mean? Desiree, Cancer. Good. Good. King of Cups, High Priestess. Girl, lovers at the bottom of the deck. 
Three of Cups. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. So King of Cups, Five of Pentacles. I just take five, but we got six. Of course, I'll take it because uh, the High Priestess. That's good. This is a little twin flamey. I don't know if we're on your twin flame journey, but uh, it looks like you could be in separation from someone and then you're about to not be. I feel like you're leaving something. You're working on yourself, your emotions. You're like real, like once you've decided to leave that person, that job, that thing, that situation that's just been, it makes you feel like this. Like I do all the work. I just, I put in all the effort. You know, it's exhausting. Like, and you know it. So Knight of Swords is your, your this is racing towards that energy of like, I'm done. Like I quit or I'm out. It's very like when you know you're done, it's like the last straw. Knight of Swords to the King of Wands is like, get me out of here. All right. Then I love Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups, as especially as a water sign. Your focus is you staying in your lane, working on King of Cups, your emotions, even though the King of Cups has the most going on underneath the surface, okay? Um, a lot of depths there. So you're working on the things that are really like deep diving, um, health, career, anything that involves just you is your focus now because now you have the time or you have maybe even the money or the resources because you've taken off that load. That, that was overbearing for you. Very, very, very good. Um, and then we have the five of pentacles to the high priestess. You know that there's, I'm hearing like something coming and then we end with the lovers. So this is Gemini energy. Spirit is giving you a divinely guided person or situation to help you, okay? Three of cups, two of pentacles, eight of cups. Um, this could be a reunion situation, but I feel like as you leave this and work on yourself, there's like, yeah, the hard work is five of pentacles is, well, I'm doing this alone now, or I feel like I'm by myself and you're not, but the five of pentacles definitely feels that way. Okay. It's a very difficult energy to go through. Um, and it's also called the spiritual warrior card because you get tested the hardest and you find out who you really are when there's no one else around to help you. Five of Pentacles, it is hard as shit. And I bet you already know what that feels like because I know what it feels like for me, okay? And then we have the High Priestess of like, I know something good is coming. This is your intuition. You, again, and you found a lot of healthy balance here. Um, yeah, and I'm, I don't read this in reversals, but look what's in reverse, just look at it, you know? Like you've shaken off a lot of heavy codependent toxic people or situations and now you're getting this higher level situation for desiree why is the ten of wands here seven of wands babe the fight's over fight's over as soon as you make the call the fight's over okay seven of wands you've been defending this for a while queen of cups okay it could be about a relationship justice a marriage maybe um, contracts are definitely involved in this situation, which is probably why you've held on for a long time. Um, Queen of Wands, but it's time for you to, to make your stand. Queen of Wands, okay? Sun card, you're about to free yourself if you haven't already. I, the sun came out again with temperance, okay? So it, you're getting a lot of healing right now. Also, I feel like specifically if you can get out in the sun, um, especially as we are in winter to pick up more light codes as we are losing more light at day by day by day at this time of year. You know what I mean? You have so many, you're like a sun person. I think that's why I said gold instead of silver. Cause like, I love silver, but like I'm a gold person too. <laughs> like, and what I mean by that is like, we love the moon. I love that. But like I personally, and I feel like you do too. And that's why I think we resonate on this. Like, or you might resonate for this. Like you get more energy, more like, uh, higher vibrational energy from the sun. Not that you don't from the moon, you're a cancer. I'm cancer rising, we have a lot of moon energy. But you also have, there's something about the sun for you. It's like, I don't know if you like are a sun worshiper or like you sunbathe, like kind of thing. Love that, like of course be healthy about it. But anyways, I don't know why I'm picking all that up for you. There's something about light codes for you, like you need to be in the sunlight specifically, okay? But anyways, woo! Besides all that, the sun card and the temperance with the knight of swords is, I feel like I just went into like a portal of messages for you and I popped back out. Okay. So I feel like also like this is your freedom day. <laughs> like this is you. I mean, look at the sun card. This is where like you jumped over that brick wall. Like you made it through. Okay. You're going to be fine. You're going to be more than fine. 
What's this Knight of Swords for Desiree? Ace of Pentacles. This is the best thing you could have done for yourself. Best thing you could have done for yourself. We talked about the Page of Pentacles in the general, okay? This is the best thing that you could have done for yourself, okay? Is it hard to get through? Mm-hmm. But you learned a very valuable lesson now, didn't you? What's this Eight of Pentacles for you? Ace of Cups, baby! Yeah, yeah! Okay, we have the Devil and the Knight of Cups. You're definitely maybe dealing with the Capricorn. Uh, Six of Pentacles, that would make sense. The Six of Pentacles, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Devil, and we have the Knight of Cups. Can you please show me any more information on this Devil? Eight of Swords, mm, Page of Cups, okay. Oh, Four of Wands. It's just, they think about you a little obsessively, okay? But that's all it is. But you have the Four of Wands and the Page of Cups on this Devil energy with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Girl, as you work on yourself and stay in your lane, it's like your energy goes up, your vibration goes up, and you cannot help when you're in that energy. You can't help but be a magnet for love. So get ready for, I feel like, lots of attention on you. Because um, I have the Six of Pentacles. That's a healthy, balanced connection coming in. Also, if it is a Capricorn, uh, that's your opposite. I kind of like that combo. I love that combo, actually. Okay, King of Cups is Tower, Eight of Swords. This is where everything changes. Four of Wands. Yeah, this person's coming in. Uh, moon card. This is still hidden from you, but this is a connection coming in for you. Why did the Tower pop up, though? Strength card. Because you have to be patient and still endure whatever is going on in your current situation. Or get through it. Yeah. What's this Five of Pentacles for you? Six of Pentacles, yep. King of Wands, Hangman. And the Moon card again. Yeah, you have changed your perspective about what like healthy connections really mean. Um, I feel like you were in a very not healthy connection because whoever's coming in this wand, fire energy too. King of Wands, yeah, Page of Swords. This is someone who's looking at you or gonna message you. Doesn't have to be a fire sign, but they're very, I'm hearing charismatic. Um, and you'll know who that might know who that is but anyways like this person has maybe been watching what you've been going through and like as you heal and develop yourself is when this other um commitment it's good with the four of wands it's a new commitment that will come in and touching the six of pentacles it will be that healthy give and take that you have been asking for okay anything on this high priestess and we'll wrap it up Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning that you don't see coming. You still need to Nine of Pentacles focus on yourself. Any homework that you have is to still um, leave anything from the past in the past. Um, and this Four of Cups, you don't really see it coming. You're looking at the Three of Cups down here of things that you're currently going through or healing of a current or past time. Nine of Swords is... Yeah, that's very stressful and you don't know what's coming. Um, but, um, the moon card was showing up a lot at the end and you are navigating in the dark and that's the whole point. <laughs> okay, um, I love you. If there's anyone else still here, I will see you all in the love reading or next time. Mwah. Bye.